Welcome back to Tale Three Cabins. I just want to start off by thanking Rich, who is a viewer of the YouTube channel, a friend and an ex-co-worker, we're both retired now, who sent me this picture. He thought of me when he saw it, and it's very apropos of what's happening right now. So let's pick up where we left off. Last week we had just got the trusses up, the fascia boards framed in, the gutter boards framed in, and the vapor barrier put on top of the cabin. That brought us to about 12.20 in the afternoon where the guys took a break. And it's looking like they might get this done in a day, maybe a day and a half if you want to include the drilling of the holes for the post holes and waiting for the inspection. But otherwise they're moving along pretty darn quick. One critical thing when ordering the materials for this is having the measurements down pat for what you're going to need for your roofing materials, your sidewalls, and soffits. So a lot of this stuff is pre-cut already, like this soffit material here, it came in a box, they were all pre-cut. Now I mentioned a neat little trick that they were doing in the last video, but I didn't elaborate on it, but they pre-drilled all the holes in the sheet metal for the roof, and they're going to do the same for the side walls. And basically it's already pre-measured out, the holes are going to line up with the purlins that are up there, keeps the holes nice and straight, easier to drill those screws through without trying to drill them through the sheet metal. You have about four things going on right now. You have this gentleman putting up the soffits. So you have two gentlemen up on the roof putting up the metal roofing. You have another one going around putting in the trim pieces that the metal siding is going to slide into eventually once they get to that point. And then you have one guy running around prepping materials and getting materials for everybody else.
Just prior to putting on the ridge cap, there is some self-adhesive venting materials that's going to straddle the ridge of the roof. It's specifically made for the metal roof and it has grooves cut out to straddle the grooves that are on the metal roof itself. While all this has been going on, most of the trim pieces are put in so we can start putting in the side walls. Same as the roof, they're prepping where the screw holes are going to go on the side panels. And when they drill them, they drill through the whole stack. Now with the roof complete and the sheet metal on there, it's pretty rigid and most of the supports have been taken out and pretty much all of them are going to come out once we start moving with the walls. The sliding door is going to go, the header has been put in, it's getting beefed up and they're kind of flushing out the girts with 2 by materials in between that to make everything flush on the front wall.
Well, the front is all trimmed out, ready to get siding and ready to get the doors put together, but there's some integral pieces that are missing from the package when it was delivered. An amazing amount of work has been done. This is how things were at 7.30 this morning, about nine hours earlier today. And here we are this evening at 4.30. Now, I've been waiting about 10 months for this pole barn since the whole process started with the permits and everything, so I guess I can wait a couple more days for them to finish up. So we're at a bit of a stumbling block. The rails for the doors were not delivered with the original package, and that's going to hold things up a little bit. They decided to call it quits at 4.30. They got here at 7.30, and they got pretty far. They would have continued to go on if all the materials would have been here and probably finished the pole barn today getting the doors up and the front end finished but that wasn't to be so we're going to wait till these rails get delivered they're going to come back a few days from now JD's going to get acquainted and maybe camp out a few nights in here in the meantime so stick around for the final touches going on the pole barn we got the sliding door that needs to go up the front end to be finished the cupola to go on top See how the locking mechanisms and that slide rail work if you never knew how a sliding door works. I always had overhead doors like a garage door and I always kind of wanted a sliding door so that's the reason I got it. We'll talk about that in a future video just to compare to security and weather tightness and some other things compared to an overhead door. But come back next week to see the final video for the construction side of this pole barn and then JD gets to a little bit of piece of the action starting to do the flooring in here, get a drain put in, some gutters. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy and subscribe to these videos. Click on that little bell when you want to know when a new one is coming out and keep an eye on us. Take care everybody.